Hi, I'm Jake from TradeLab.ai. Welcome to the introduction of the Strategy Builder. The Strategy Builder is a tool that we use to create strategies based on rules and logic. It allows you to create your own bots without coding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple buy and sell strategy using the Strategy Builder. And in this way, we'll get to know the different parts of the Strategy Builder and how to use you can check out other videos that will go more in depth on how to use different parts of the strategy build. So to get started, the first thing we're going to do is click here to add our first rule. So today we're going to be creating a simple buy and sell strategy. The first thing that we need to do is set up our alerts. So we'll go over to the alerts panel over on the right side. It's the second button from the top. It's the little clock. When we hit this, We'll see the alerts panel here and we can click on the plus button to create our first alert. The alert builder will pop up and the first thing we need to do is name our alert. So I'll name this buy alert. And to create a buy alert, what we want to do is make sure that our type is set to buy. And then we have our symbol already set up to be uh, our dynamic symbol from TradingView. This will make TradingView uh, fill in the symbol based on what chart it is sending from. So for this simple buy alert, this is all we need. And to set this up in TradingView, the first thing we would do is uh, copy our webhook. So we'll click on this webhook URL and we'll go over to TradingView. So that will set up our simple buy message and we'll set this up in TradingView. So to set this up, the first thing we'll do is click on the webhook URL to copy it, and then we'll head over to TradingView. In TradingView, the first thing we'll do is go to the uh, Alerts tab over here and press the Create Alert button. Then we'll select our indicator that we're going to use. We'll set it up however we want, uh, crossing or whatever it is that we need. And then at that point, we'll go ahead and put in our webhook URL into this box right here. We copied that from TradeLab. Now we'll go back to Trade Lab and copy the message. Click on the message right here. That'll put it in your clipboard and then we can clear out the message in our trading view alert and paste that message in. All right, we can then hit create and that will create us a, a new alert uh, over here in trading view. Okay, we can now go back to Trade Lab. That's our buy alert. So we'll click save and we'll create a sell alert. So we click plus again, and we call this one cell alert. So for this one, we're going to want to make sure to change our type to from buy to sell. Okay, so you can see that that changed our alert message as well. And we're going to set this message up in trading view too. So we'll go to trading view. We'll click on our webhook URL to copy it. We'll go to trading view and we'll create a new alert. We'll set this alert up the same way, make sure that we uh, set it up with our indicator however we want. Once that's finished, we will uh, put in our webhook URL, and then we can also copy the message by clicking right here, and we'll paste that in. We'll clear out the message in TradingView and paste in the message that TradeLab gave us. Okay, that's how you set up an alert in TradeLab. Uh, inside of trading view so we'll hit create and now we have two alerts in trading view and we'll go back to trade lab and press save so now we have two alerts set up uh, it's connected to trading view and we have a buy and sell alert so now what we want to do is make some rules in trade lab so that whenever our alerts uh, fire we can end up placing a trade okay so the first thing we'll do is uh, click here and we'll add our first rule. So if we click here, uh, it'll give us entry or exit, and we can uh, click entry, and this will create us our first entry rule. You can see it's blue over here, and a rule has two distinct parts in Trade Lab. It has conditions and actions. So whenever a rule runs, it will check the conditions, and if the conditions all pass, then it will run its actions. So for our buy and sell uh, strategy that we're making today, we want to create a... Uh... <clears throat> so 
So for our buy and sell strategy that we want to make today, we want to create an entry rule that will place an order whenever we hear a buy alert. Okay, so if we press the add condition button, we can then click here on uh, what appears and we can select our uh, <coughs> So to set this up, we'll click add condition, and then we can click here to open up the field selector. The field selector will show you all the different fields that you can use in your room. Today, we're going to be looking for the custom alert. So we want our alert to come in and we want its type uh, to equal buy. Okay, so we'll select custom alerts type. We'll double click on that to close and then type equals we want it to equal buy. So I'll type in buy in the top box right here and I'll press enter. And now we can see custom alerts type equals buy. Okay. Then what we'll do is we'll add an action and we'll say place order. Okay. And so now we have uh, a rule that says whenever I hear my buy alert, I will place an order. Okay. Now, what we want to do is place an order for buy and then we want to uh, exit that when we hear a sell alert. So the blue rule will run whenever we're not in a trade. And this is an entry rule. It runs when there's no uh, open position. So we'll listen for our alert and when we hear the buy alert, we'll place an order. After we place an order, it will stop running our blue rules. Okay, and then it's going to start running our exit rules. So let's go ahead, go up to the uh, top menu up here, the rules menu, and we can click new and we'll create a new rule and we'll, it'll be an exit rule. So here we can see we have an orange rule. So orange rules run whenever we are in a trade. So the blue rule is going to trigger and place a trade whenever we hear our buy alert. And now after that happens, it'll stop running the blue rule and it'll stop or start running our orange rules. Okay. So for our orange rule, we want to listen for a sell alert and make it exit. So I'll add a condition and I'll look for custom alerts type and that type should be equal to sell. Okay. So now we have type equal to sell and we want to go ahead and add an action and say close order. So when we hear our buy alert, it'll place an order. When we hear our sell alert, it'll close an order. All right. So to go ahead and test this, we'll first save our strategy. And to test it out, we can send a test alert. So over here on the right, we can see this little paper airplane icon. If we click this for a buy alert, it'll open up the send test alert uh, right here and we can uh, test this out. Now, before we actually send a alert, uh, we do need to talk about what symbol we're gonna be trading on and what exchange. So let's do that real quick. Um, we'll pop over to the trade settings. If we uh, click on the top button on the sidebar, it'll open up the trade settings. And in here, we can name our strategy. So I might say um, sample, buy, and sell, okay? And then we can also select our exchange. So if you haven't set up an exchange, you can do that in the settings screen. Uh, I have my exchange here, so I'll select it. And then you want to select a symbol. So I'll select ETH USDT. And now that I have that selected, I'll also want to uh, tell Trade Lab how much I want to trade. So down here, you can see the amount type and trade amount. So if I type in 50, with the amount type of USD, that'll trade $50. If I wanted to uh, use a percentage of my balance, I could say amount type percentage, and then I can say I want to trade 10% of my balance. Okay. So uh, today I'm just going to place a, a quick uh, test order. So I'm going to place it for say $20 and I'm going to go back to the alerts tab 
and I'll click on uh, the send test alert feature. Go ahead and save this. I'll hit send test alert and I will um, look at my alert here. It looks like it's going to send by for ETH. That's exactly what I want. So I'll go ahead and check this box that says place real orders. And that is going to make this test alert place an actual order on the exchange. Uh, you can send test alerts without placing real orders. Just check, uncheck that box um, and that'll work. If you uncheck this box, it'll place a, uh, if you uncheck this box, it'll place a test alert, but it won't actually place the order. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit send alert. That's going to bring us over to the alert screen. And you can see that my uh, sample buy and sell strategy ran. It ran the entry rule and I can see that rule zero ran. So I can uh, click on this and open it up and I can see the conditions that ran and I can see that my alert came in and it matched uh, what I was expecting it to have buy. So because of that, it went ahead and placed an order. And here I can see that my order uh, just placed, I have a trade open. So if I go back to my strategies, we can now see that my sample buy and sell has an open long and we are currently in a trade. So if we want to go back and edit this, let's go ahead and close this with a sell alert. So I can uh, send another test alert. This one's going to be sell. And this is going to test my exit rule to make sure that it works. So we're going to hit place real orders. And I'm going to hit send test alert. This will bring, this will bring me to the uh, alert monitor screen once again, where it'll show me my uh, rule that ran. I can see that the trade closed. Uh, so we had a successful uh, open and close of this strategy. Once again, I can click on the rule. I can check the conditions that ran <clears throat> and also see what actions ran. If we go back to my strategies, we can now see that the sample buy and sell is no longer in a trade and it's reset itself. So now it's looking for entry. And uh, the next time that it hears a buy alert, it will uh, place another trade. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick look at how to set up a simple strategy in Trade Lab. This strategy is only going to place a buy order and then it'll place a sell order to close, which means that we're only going to be doing long positions. Um, for more information about how to do long and short positions in a trade, go ahead and watch the next video. If you like this, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.